um, behind me uh, are some dignitaries who have been very supportive and are very important to success in the environmental areas of our community. Um, Jenny Breckus, Reno City Council member. Vaughn Hartung from the County Commissioners, Board of County Commissioners for Washoe County. Julia Ratty from the City of Sparks. Beth McMillan from the Art Town Board. And last and probably most importantly, our host, Michael Hefter from the Homeowners Association from Collin Ranch. There's some other people in the audience that I wanted to acknowledge before we get started and I hand over the mic. Uh, Mark Forey, the director of Tumwa is with us today. And I'm not sure if he's here, but Thor Dyson from NDOT was invited. Is Thor here? Okay. Um, James Murphy from Environmental Services at NDOT. Chris Gravenstein from the uh, Nevada Department of Environmental Protection. Are you here, Chris? All right, Chris. And with that, I'm going to turn over the microphone to uh, City Council Member Jenny Breckis. Hello and welcome to uh, Ward 1 in Reno. It's great to be here today and spend some water quality time with all of you. Um, I think this is a great project. Um, I understand it was a federal pass-through of money that is um, came out of the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act was a mon monumental environmental bill passed in 1972. I'm old enough to remember growing up in the fear of rivers that would self-combust in, um, in the rust belt of our country. And as those steps of environmental progression uh, were made in the implementation of these laws, to know that they're uh, being played out in our community and we'll have these signs to let the public know about our important water quality resources uh, throughout the community. So I think it's just a really wonderful um, event and opportunity. I'll be thinking about how privileged we are to live in a country that um, values water quality as essential to life, but also um, for quality of life in a great mature neighborhood as this that um, has really uh, gone to great steps and and I think we'll hear a little bit more about those to improve the water quality for the aesthetic and uh, quality of life of this community. I live in the older part of town where we used to channelize water and then um, you know put concrete over it and every now and then it occurs to you well there's a ditch but um, I think it is wonderful particularly knowing that um, these laws are still being able to um, produce results in our community so um, I'd like to thank the uh, it's always the staff who does this I'd like to thank the collaborators collaborative staff um, from the different jurisdictions who worked on, on this and um, look forward to sharing this as I go out our community in Ward 1 and elsewhere with the kids who I, um, you know, my daughter and her friends and letting them know uh, the tributaries that lead to our, our great river that is so essential for our um, quality of life and our, our public health here in um, our community. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. And now I'd like to introduce Vaughn Hartung from the Board of County Commissioners. I'd like to thank you for coming out today. It's a, it's a beautiful day, a little windy, unfortunately, uh, which makes it difficult to sort of hear and for our, our talking points. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone who's been a, a part of this in the community because this is, a, this is an important aspect of our community, water. I mean, we, we take water for granted in our community. And, and, we're standing in green belts uh, that don't naturally belong here, and so managing it is, is an important part of the process. Smaller creeks in the watershed, including White's, Thomas, and Steamboat, and here on Alum, may seem far from the Truckee River, uh, but they have the ability to significantly impact uh, our downstream water quality, and it's important to remember how the conduits, uh, how they are conduits in our water supply, in our drinking water supply. Um, we have representatives here from Tumwa, uh, Mark Forey, he's going to talk here, I think, uh, that, that uh, are going to tell us how great the water supply is and the need to protect that resource. Um, this is just one project in the Truckee Meadows Watershed uh, that the Watershed Committee has had great success with in coordinating and collaborating with other educational and industrial projects. Um, 
This project is a, is a huge component for the Truckee Meadows Watershed Educational Toolkit, and it's the first step in providing a clear way to understand the connection between the creeks and the Truckee River. Uh, and, and, and I think we don't really, as we stand up here, we don't think about how this, this little creek is connected to the Truckee River system and to our, our drinking water supply. The second step in this toolkit is still underway and it includes uh, publishing a large fold-out map of the Truckee River water watershed for teachers and, and students in, to use in the classroom. And the goal is to help uh, students understand uh, the impact on the watershed by getting 80% of the Washoe County School District, uh, the, this into 80% of the Washoe County School District classrooms. So we've got some representatives here today. Hang on tight, you guys. It's, it may come apart on you. And again, I would like to just thank everyone for coming out and being part of this project. Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn. Well said. Um, I'd like to now introduce uh, from our next door neighbor city, City of Sparks, Julia Ratty, to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, from the City of Sparks, we're absolutely thrilled to be part of another successful community collaboration. Uh, we often get um, perhaps some, pump, some public attention for when we don't get along and what the public doesn't always see is that on 99% of issues, the jurisdictions are working together well. This is a particularly important issue for us, uh, the quality of water. I think Jenny started with the bigger picture and what government is doing. Um, and Vaughn talked a little bit about a public awareness campaign with kids and education. I'd like to focus on what each of us can do individually. You need to be aware of the choices that you make as an individual and how those choices affect the watershed. Um, I'd like everybody to think when you turn on the water, just from a conservation standpoint, um, the, the less you use, the less it has to be processed. And then importantly for this project, what are you washing down? You know, what are you dumping down your drain? What are you washing down your driveway? What is ending up in the watershed that is affecting the quality of water for everybody in our community? So really, it starts with awareness, and then it ends with action. And we would encourage everybody to become educated about the watershed, and then to, to consider personal action to improve the quality of the watershed for all of us. Again, City of Sparks is thrilled to be on board. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Julia. And at this time, I'd like to bring up Beth McMillan from Art Town, who's going to talk about some action. Thank you very much for, for having me here today. Um, I think you all know that we're about three weeks away from Art Town and um, we're all very excited for July. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to live in a city that has the most beautiful river running through it. And I know that um, more than many people because so many of our Art Town events take place during the month of July on the, the island uh, that sits in the middle of the Truckee River. Um, I have been honored with the job of announcing a new City of Reno Public Works project that uses public art to protect the, the Truckee River. Art Town is built on collaboration and we really like to find some interesting and unique collaborations, especially those that are seemingly unlikely. So this is the first time the city has ever done a project to combine the environmental stewardship message, stormwater protection and the arts. The City of Reno's pilot project will begin during Art Town this year. The city has commissioned local artist, and I can tell you his art is amazing. His name is Bryce Chisholm. He's going to paint the first public art painting at a storm drain along the Truckee River on July the 12th. This will take place on the Truckee River Lane, which is right next to Wingfield Park, and all the while, Roland on the River will be going on in Wingfield Park, and everybody can stay. He'll be painting between 6 and 8 p.m., and everybody can stay thereafter and see the movie Field of Dreams for movies in the park during that, that night. The art, um, the drain is the mouth to the Truckee River. Um, so whatever goes down the drain ends up in the river. The art will bring attention to the need to keep harmful chemicals and other pollutants out of this beautiful, life-giving river. The artist will incorporate this concept into the painting. And as I said, it's going to take place on July the 12th. We're all working with the Arts and Culture Commission to make this happen. Um, the call for artists uh, for the storm drains, not only this one, but many others, throughout the entire area will go out so we encourage many artists to apply 
it's going to become a huge area-wide public art project. It's very exciting. Art Town is delighted that the arts are included, and we're even more excited that it's part of Art Town. And this is my opportunity to unveil this project. Thank you very, very much for having us be a part of this. I couldn't be more excited and more grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. That is exciting. Um, the next person I'd like to invite up here, you know, words are... Okay, just unplug this. I've often said words are cheap, uh, actions speak uh, volumes. And I think the next speaker is going to provide us with an example of how a part of our community um, is moving forward and has actually done things in the past that really uh, exemplify what we're trying to accomplish in this effort and this program. So I'd like to invite up to the podium Michael Hefner from the Homeowners Association, the president of the Homeowners Association of the Collin Ranch Board of Homeowners. Actually, this is just about my size. Um, look, uh, I just wanted to very briefly welcome everybody here today. We picked a perfect day. Thank goodness it wasn't Sunday or Monday. Um, but we've got a great day to have you here. We're so pleased to have everybody in our home. Uh, I hope you'll take advantage of this day or someday soon to walk around the, about a dozen miles of trails we've got in the ranch. Because right now all the streams are flowing, the ponds are full and the flowers are in bloom everywhere as you can see. So again, I just want to say um, we're so grateful to be part of this event, not just to celebrate the accomplishments of the city, but because of the public-private partnership that this represents. We've been working with the city, with NDEP, uh, with various public entities uh, to improve our stewardship of Alum Creek, which is so vital to the health of the Truckee River. Uh, and in addition to that, we have commissioned the hydrology students at UNR to look at the effect of steamboat ditch flows through the ranch and its effect on Allen Creek as well. So um, I think most importantly though, what I wanna say is today is not the end of that effort. Uh, on the contrary, over the coming years, we're actually going to redouble our effort to improve our stewardship of Alum Creek and the environment. We'll be looking at sources of pollution, we'll be looking at corrective measures, and we'll be looking at a program to educate our entire community. And one final thought, um, on a related issue, over the past couple of years, we have engineered, constructed, and installed what we call the water project. It consists of 11 pump stations spread throughout the ponds of Collin Ranch. The purpose of this project is to utilize steamboat ditch water instead of Truckee Meadows potable water to irrigate our green belt. The effect of this project, which is now up and running, is that it will reduce the amount of water that Tumwa has to treat and process by about 50 million gallons annually. In the process, it will also save our homeowners well over $100,000 a year. So I look at this project and I look at our work with the city on Alum Creek as an integral part of our uh, program of conservation. And it's one where we look forward to the continuing partnership we have uh, with the city going forward. So again, welcome uh, to Collin Ranch. Thank you for coming uh, and have a great day. Thank you again, Michael. Um, I'd like to conclude with one more um, appreciation, which is to the students of the Reno Vacation Station Program who came out here and graciously held this sign up. And I guess the last thing I would say is that really the purpose for doing what we're talking about today is for them. It's what we hand off to the next generation and the way we, as the ones responsible for what we hand to them, we need to take actions to make sure that we're proud of and we give them the best resources possible. So again, thanks everybody for coming out. Really appreciate it. Woo. Woo.